Let's try the ball above the feet. First, let me show you how I do it. I open the club face a little bit. I aim a little bit to the right because the position. Also, I choke the club down the shaft. Then I try to stay a little high to compensate the slope. And then everything else is exactly as a normal shot. And also, I try to concentrate to make sure that my right hand don't rotate. It's supposed to go under. Otherwise, if it rotates too much, we will get too much over spin, which is not good. Now we have the opposite situation with the ball below our feet. Oh, we lost the beer. This time grip the club near to the top of the grip. Widen your stance, aiming to the left of the target to compensate the effect of the slope and the effect of the upright swing you will make. Here we find the ball lying against the cut of the rough. Don't worry, this is an excellent remedy which is pretty easy once you have practiced it. We call it the belly wedge. Take your sand wedge, choke down on the grip and aim at the middle of the ball. The stroke is firm and you hit the ball with the flange of the club. It is like a deliberate top. The ball will roll towards the flag like a pad. When playing the ball from a downhill lie, take a lofty club, probably the sand wedge, to compensate for the fact that the slope will have the tendency to take loft out of the club. Your left leg will carry most of your weight. Make a real effort to stay down through the ball. Now we have an uphill shot. I have the sand wedge, but because the position, I'm going to change the sand wedge into a pitching wedge. Why? Very simple. It's uphill, I have to put more weight on the right side. That means that I create, I will create more loft in the club. So I'm going to try to convert the pitching wedge into a normal sand wedge. Everything else is the same. Let's have a look. When playing from this kind of light, try to use your pitching wedge instead of your sand wedge to allow for the fact that the slow will effectively tend to add love to the club. Of course, we don't have to play always with the sand wedge. Let's try a three iron and have some fun.